So we are here at the site of the Sacagawea burial. Sacagawea was, of course, the young Shoshone woman who helped lead the Lewis and Clark expedition. Some people have said that she died on the trail of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Uh, however, the records of Reverend Roberts depict otherwise and say that she, this is her burial site. So there is a little bit of controversy about the fact that Sacagawea is laid to rest here. Um, I wouldn't dispute Reverend Roberts's records because they actually say that he was there officiating at her burial, but uh, they do say that she is born, uh, buried in North Dakota and she died at a young age. Um, the records here depict that she actually died of old age. Sacagawea died in 1884 and was identified by Reverend Roberts who officiated at her burial. And this is the site where she has been laid to rest along with her son, uh, Basil. So when she led the Lewis and Clark expedition, she was a very young woman. She was around the age of 15 or 16 years old. When you really think about it, it was actually no easy feat for her to do that. She was pregnant, she was young, and she led the expedition through some very rugged territory um, in that the landscape was rugged, but also that the uh, warring tribes that they encountered were, were not very friendly. But with her guide and with her knowledge of the land, she was able to take them to the big water or the ocean. 